Okay, we go to question 30 saying the diagram shows a male reproductive system. Okay, in which structure are hormones that bring about secondary sexual characteristics produced? We know D is the testes we are having there, the bladder, the penis. Okay, so um, the hormone that brings about secondary sex characteristics is testosterone and it is produced in the testes which is D. So answer here is D. Okay, you go to question 31. 31 is saying which structure contracts when the baby is being born? Okay, uh, the stomach usually, the muscles of the stomach contract, so it's the uterus which contracts. Okay. The umbilical cord doesn't contract the placenta is just passed during breath during birth and uh, the cervix actually widen during birth to allow the child to to pass so the answer here is d okay go to question 32 question 32 is saying the diagram presents different methods of birth control which birth control method is represented by X, Y, and Z? Okay, so we are seeing X, these are tablets, mm, Y is a condom, and Z is a cup. Okay, now this, um, okay, this birth, this one is mechanical because the mechanical birth control is a birth control where you put uh, something hindering between the male sex cell and the female sex cell, all right, or something that prevents the fusion all right so these two guys here prevent the fusion so they are mechanical or this guy here uses hormones so it is uh it is hormonal so hormonal mechanical mechanical our answer is a okay we go to the next question the next question which is 33 says the bar chart shows the percentage of blood of each blood group in human population while the bar chart B shows the percentage in goats without hormones okay which type of variation is shown in each population all right uh, we know there are just two types of variation this is continuous and discontinuous okay so continuous variation this is continuous variation and this is also sorry this is discontinuous variation and this is also discontinuous variation in discontinuous variation there is a clear cut difference so you can see here there's a there's no to say there's a bit of attachment no there's a a ends there's b b ends there's a b a b ends there's o even here there's horns there is no horns all right so for continuous variation the graph kind of looks like this okay so the graph looks like this as you can see it is continuous all right it is continuous as you can see here it is continuous there is no there is no breaking of this line here of this graph so our answer is discontinuous discontinuous which is d all right we go to the next question which is question 34 okay it says the diagram shows a human the diagram shows the human inheritance of urbanism in a family. Urbanism is caused by recessive allele. Alright. So according to this key, we know to say this guy here is an albino. Alright. And then this lady here uh, is normal. This this guy here is also normal. Alright. What are the genotype of parents one and the parents two? Alright, so remember this parent and this parent they have produced a child who is an albino and a child who is not an albino. So meaning that since this man here is an albino, for them to produce an albino child here, so this lady here should also have uh, elements of albinoism in her. Okay, so here it should be heterozygous in one and uh, Heterozygous in one and in two it should be homozygous. Okay, so our answer here should be B. Okay. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. Our answer.
answer here should be B. All right. Um, question 35 is saying the table shows some characteristics of four different vertebrae. Which vertebrae is a reptile? Reptile, you're talking about lizards and uh, snakes and all. All right. So we know to say lizards, they don't have hair. All right. So we will not say lizards have scales. All right. We also know that lizards have legs and they don't have fins. So our answer here should be B. Okay. Which which soil is which soil component is important in giving us so a good gram structure? The answer here is humus. Humus is sticky and it holds the soil particles together and that's how it makes them so crumbs okay uh 37 is saying the diagram shows the food chain if the hawks are removed from the food chain what is likely to happen to the number of organisms mm, uh, okay once the hawks so these guys here are removed okay so since no one is eating these guys these guys here should increase but because a lot of guys are eating these so these ones should reduce but if once these reduce then these also should increase because there's no one eating them so we are saying ladybirds should increase okay so it's either these two we are going to say insect eating beds should decrease so increase increase no increase decrease yes then increase so our answer is d 38 the diagram shows a part of a carbon circle in a forest. The letters P, Q, and R represent different processes that occur during the carbon circle. Which of the processes are reduced in rate as a result of deforestation? So, in other words, which processes do you think depends on a tree? If we remove tree here, all right, do you think process Q will occur? Of course not. Ara, it will not occur because they're depending on the tree. And P will also not occur. So all these processes will be affected. So our answer here would be D. All right. We got to question 39. Which pollutants of water can lead to eutrophication or the other ways the increase of bacteria and algae in water? Okay, and uh, those would only increase if there is a lot of food for them to eat, and these foods would come from fertilizers and sewage. So, our answer here would be B. Okay, question 4 is saying the reason for conserving plant species is to absorb oxygen for the air. No, from the air, um, people, humans, and plants both do that. So, even if you have plants or not, you will still absorb air. From, we should observe oxygen from the air to decrease rainfall. That's that's wrong because we know to say plants where there are plants will have a lot of rainfall. All right. To obtain drugs for medicine for medicinal use. All right. This answer here is correct. So our answer is C. Okay. Then to release carbon dioxide into the air. No, that's not the answer. We usually keep plants for photosynthesis where they absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen okay so our answer is c uh thank you very much for watching this tutorial hope you liked it uh have a nice day